Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I did. Uh, uh, I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. I kind of been ripping and running to like, oh yeah, I'm gonna check out the 23 minute video. What's the books? Oh yeah, that's 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 just a that's just a video talking yeah. about when 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 my shows are coming out because I've been having a lot of people asking me when um they're gonna be coming out, but at the same time, a lot of people complain about my um writing style you know but my my writing style is to me my writing style is very common you know because um it was the way that i was educated i mean you know of course i was educated with the basics but when you understand words and phrases and the functions of words you know um as a writer in order to express what you mean you develop your own writing style of expressing yourself and my my way of expressing myself is is not like any other writers you know a whole lot of um writers write down strictly um you know knowledge but i write down my i write down insight to things You know, so there's a um, there's a big distinction. You know, I know uh, you said that people think that your writing is collegiate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's probably what they think is maybe too deep. maybe people say it's too deep. Is that what they mean when they say your writing is kind of collegiate? You may have seen some Yeah, they 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 say that my um my writing is on the um what they say, the second stage college level? Yeah. And um, some of them publishing companies was telling me that I should consider bringing down um, the content a little bit. And I told them, no, I'm not going to do that. You know, but it helped me understand when um, a lot of um, people say you don't find your audience, your audience finds you. Yeah, you know, you had brought that point up the other night when we were talking about that, that's that concept. It's kind of like you're magnetizing the, the certain type of people right. until you never actually appreciate your work and to hell with anybody else. Yeah, and you know, I was, I was even um, saying in a video that, um, I put out a lot of dialogue. And so my, my writing is very intellectual and it's spiritual. And I deal with a lot of um, redemption. You know, that's that's primarily what I write about is um, redemption. But I was telling them that it has very little violence in it. And if you're looking uh, for, for sex, Oh, a whole lot of bump and grind, you can forget it. Yeah, you know, Negroes, they, yeah, that's why you ain't gonna sell to the black and you ain't write black books, but that's all Negroes think about. I, I don't, you know what? I don't, I don't really, um, I'll be just totally honest with you. You know, like I told this young brother at, at um, work, I turned in my black card years ago. Yeah. Years ago. Uh, I turned in my black card years ago. I, I ain't worried about black folks. I'm not worried about what interests them. I'm not worried about what pleases them and all of that, you know, because it's very easy to say that today, considering the moral direction that the, that the community, well, the, the current direction that the, that the community is in and the moral direction that the community is constantly going. You know, they're, they're constantly, they're currently in darkness and they are um, constantly going into darkness, you know. And and um, it's it's crazy. I mean, I mean, I mean, that's just like the stuff that's going on with um, Kanye. I knew that people like the Israelites and Farrakhan and it was going to jump right on that. I was I was telling them at work. I said, now you watch these Hebrew Israelites are going to jump on this and Farrakhan. He's gonna uh, pour gasoline on the fire. He's gonna pour gasoline on the fire. 
And you know, this is a man who knows that his point of view into anybody who is in trouble is not going to benefit them. He knows this. You know, even when um, Jesse Jackson was running for president, due to the fact that Farrakhan said that he was supporting Jesse Jackson, that had a very strong, bad impact on Jesse Jackson's efforts to become president. See, I didn't know that part of history, but it makes sense. Mm -hmm. And so from there, Arsenio Hall felt like, I'm moving too fast. Arsenio Hall, as you know, was um, one of the um, primary people who helped the hip hop community. You might as well say, give them music to society. You know, like Easy e and the KRS-1s. I mean, back in the 80s when Arsenio Hall had his show, it was a beautiful thing. You know, we we, we used to always sit up and watch and see who was going to be on um, Arsenio Hall. You know, Salt and Pep, N.W.A. and every, you know. Now, even when it gets to the point to where N.W.A. respect a man so much, as much profanity as they used to um, distribute, they respected Arsenio so much, they didn't say not one curse word during all of their, their entire performance. Now, Arsenio was doing good. He, he, was, he was doing good. And then people started calling in, you know, because of what was going on in the LA riots and, and all of those things. They started calling in and asking Arsenio, when are you going to have Minister Farrakhan on your show? Now, with Arsenio Hall knowing that he did not own his show and his show was was um, owned by um, a whole lot of people in, in the Jewish community who was executive, helping him um, put the hip hop world out, you know, you know everything that they was doing. He felt he 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 was made to feel compelled by the black community to have Minister Farrakhan on it. You know, because if 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 you go on YouTube and if you look at the show, um Arsenio said, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Man, you don't have to do nothing for the cause, for the cause. Identify the cause, man. Identify the cause. What is the cause? Well, you know, our people are suffering, you know, and, and how we, we're getting killed by the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, you know, but all at the same time, look at what our people are doing. And I'm not saying that black people bring these things on themselves because a whole lot of times we don't. But all at the same time, You just can't feel compelled to get yourself involved with someone who who you know is an endangerment to your status when it when it when it comes to your show. And yeah. and you know he was saying that um, he was up all night and 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 a whole lot of people was calling him telling him you shouldn't have Minister Farrakhan on your show. You should consider not having him on her uh, on on his show but he did it anyway because he felt compelled to do it because of the black community you know he wanted to show the black community that he is down and 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 he's down for the cause and then minister farrakhan came on there and then minister farrakhan was telling him they was trying to um block your show but you as my brother supported me and stood up for me when i heard that i said it's over it's over for you bro it's over what was it um two weeks later or um, maybe a little longer than that arsenio was on his last show because he had minister farrakhan on his show 
Now, a whole lot of people will say, what do you have against Minister Farrakhan? Fool, I'm talking about cause and effect. I'm talking about social engineering. I mean, I mean, that's just like if I was in Kanye's shoes and the moment Farrakhan would have um, said, I'm standing up for Kanye, I would have called Farrakhan and say, sir, I don't need you speaking for me. I'm quite able to speak for myself. I knew that Farrakhan and the, and, and the Hebrew Israelites was going to jump on this because this is a Hebrew subject. I said to myself, here we go. Here we go. And the um, other guy, what's, what's his name? Um, Kyrie? They're jumping on his case because he put the Hebrew thing out. Now, a lot of people may say, well, um, that's our um, um, history of blah, 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 blah. Number one, you, you don't know if that's your history or not. And if it is your history and you learn about it, what the hell can you do about it? And after you find out who you are, you're still going to go back to twerking. You're still going to go back to your thugging. You're still going to go back to what you're doing. The same as the Hebrews did. So maybe you are Hebrew. So what, to me, what difference does it make if you find out that you come from a, a one, one of the, tri uh, the 12 tribes of um, Israel, if you're going back to doing the same thing that God told the Hebrew Israelites not to do? What's, what's the point of, of finding out exactly who you are and where you came from and, and all of that? If you're gonna go back to doing the same thing and finding this out, shouldn't that make you change your ways? Sorry. Because when the Hebrew Israelites were, were out, every third word was motherfucker this and bitch that and not and standing up there with a Bible in their hand. And we're 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 cursed and and you know you you so in love with this creator that cursed you you know what I mean? you know and and so i i would tell farrakhan just be quiet dude i don't, I don't, I don't need you speaking for me you know because when you speak into a flame it's not water bro it's gasoline <laughs> yeah. so i would tell him no i don't i don't need you speaking for me i mean even even that stuff with with michael jackson the mistake that he made was having a nation of Islam walking around with him. I was telling people that's not a good look. Now a whole lot of people may say, well, um, he can't be be worried about how the white folks and the Jews are gonna feel. And yeah, yeah, you you're right. You know, but what I'm saying is when when you're in a dilemma like that, you have to make wise decisions. And, I, and I'm glad we're having this conversation because everything you're saying, David, I agree. See, it's like our people they don't understand the art of uh it's kind of like the art of war man they don't understand how to move directly depending on your situation and your environment mm -hmm. like you said Michael jackson uh, yeah well i don't understand what they did and what they did was they didn't really just think things all the way through as far as like you said the cause and effect they didn't they didn't think about the effect but how they what, what they put the time that they did. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, that's people don't have a situation where you're just saying, you understand? Right. Why we think of what we saw, because we're thinking so hard, we wouldn't respond and react to something. We would get the intended uh, target, we would get the intended target the way we want to without missing. See what what it is 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 exactly what you're saying, and I'm 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 going to try to um, translate that and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think yeah. but I think you and I talked about this numerous times. You have to learn how to respond and not react, because re responding is intellectual, reacting is emotional. You yeah. know. 
Now, considering everything that Kanye West was 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 going through with his um previous marriage and his discompatibilities with Jay Z and 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 other artists out there, I think um and him him being on the inside seeing so much of um how the Jewish community are um in control of certain areas of um, music and and entertainment and and all of those things and when they are um getting these athletes and these other people in the music industry to to sign contracts and 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 things like that i'm sorry kanye i understand exactly what you're saying and we should have more um um people of our race you might as well say more involved in the music industry but unfortunately and fortunately that's not the case you know and and i say fortunately that's not the case because it's been numerous times whenever um some of our people are in charge of our people our people get robbed yeah. and so that's a fact too so that puts um black producers and, and 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 black record companies in harmony with what he is asserting that the jewish record companies and and, and other areas of um entertainment are doing the blacks do it too you know so when it when it all boils down to it is it a jew thing and a black thing or is it strictly a humanitarian moral issue it is a moral issue yeah, because all people, no matter what race they have, they have the ability to, to tap into greed and be greedy and be evil. They don't matter what race you are. Right. So, you know, I'm glad you brought that up. That made me think about people like Greg Gordy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sugar, like a lot of them. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, you read about them like Diddy and stuff. You read about their history. All they have to do is scroll over their artists and take their royalties, their publishers. So I'm like, you ain't no better than the Jews. Right. You know, completely. Look at Don King. Don, Don King said in one of his interviews that everything that he knows um, of the boxing industry and other areas of entertainment, he said his teachers were Jews. And so he took what they taught him and put it in his own, um, you might as well say, um, manner of, of of handling businesses and all of the boxers that he was accused of of um robbing all of those guys were black men you know, you know? Le, uh, muhammad ali larry holmes uh brother mike you know a lot of people a lot of people were complaining about him now simply because he he does his business um equivalent to the to the way that his his um you might as well say counterparts the jews did theirs as, as, as far as they um their um tactics um you're gonna blame the jews because of the way that um don king handled his business those those people were his teachers yeah. And even even a lot of sometimes black gangsters, when you read about here, so a lot of stuff that we like to read about from Jewish Jewish guys you see that and everything. So like we if anything, we have become we have become worse than the white man in a lot of ways because we know better. And we still we still do what we do. Yeah. I mean that's that that was my point. You know, it's it's like we 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 know better because of so much that we um have suffered, but all at the same time look at the moral condition of the black community look at look at these black women man look at look, look at these black men i mean you know you know the girl who used to um work with me at when when i was with signal 88 yeah she not too long obviously got fired because she beat up one of the supervisors 
because she kept coming in late. And so she put up on her Facebook that she beat up one of the supervisors. But see, I was telling them about this girl. As you know, I, I used to tell them all the time about her. And so she puts up this this video, you know, her um, boyfriend that just got out of jail. And they, they, they sitting up and they're drinking Hennessy and they smoking joints. And she's saying that she's a part of his family and therefore she's pregnant again. And I'm looking at her while she's coughing, right? Not covering her mouth. I'm like, and I'm looking at everybody in that room. And you don't have to be my age to understand how very precious time is. But is this what you guys do? Is this all you're doing? Don't you, shouldn't you cover your mouth when you cough? I mean, I'm hurt looking at them and I'm like okay considering this this whole COVID thing is going around she's just sitting there just coughing all over the room with her mouth open and all they doing is sitting up in front of their live camera smoking joints drinking Hennessy I'm like okay what are you guys what is this what are you doing what is this but see that's the future That's the future. They don't have anything to pass down to even to their own children. Because what are you doing? You're not doing anything. And that's the future. And so with all of this Hebrew stuff coming up and and um, Kyrie saying, you know, I've always wanted to find out who I am and, and all of that, you you know, you, you probably still don't know who you are. The only thing you did was bump into some information that asserts that these this is where you come from. That's an assertion. You 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 have to do further research to find out your origin. And I don't care how far back you go, your origin is gonna always be the creator. Period. Right. You know, now Pete may say, Well, that's that's a scapegoat. No, that's 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 the reality of it. That's the reality of it, you know. So when you um, start getting involved with the flesh and you know and and the organism and this this tribe come came from this area and, and and this area came from this tribe and we don't know who we are and you know I, I understand Candace Owens now when she says you still are on the plantation why don't y'all get off the plantation you know she's talking about that that pattern of thinking let it go and move forward. You know, this this is one of the reasons why the um, community is having difficulty moving forwards because you still you're still concerned about a past that most likely you ain't never going to come in contact with. And a whole lot of them are finding out that when they do their GNA, uh, um, DNA, they're finding out that a whole lot of them wasn't from Africa. And then when a whole lot of them find out that they wasn't from the quote unquote motherland, then you always have those on the side when they hear them, well, well, you know, um, um, the 50% of that stuff, them folks be lying. And so, the, and, and so when you hear that, that throws you right back in the same ditch that you was in. So now you are, well, I, I don't know who I am, you know, because he said that, you know, this, this could be wrong. Yeah, I know. Sending your DNA in to these people, they test your DNA and what they see, they say, okay, now there's a policy that when we do this, we are to tell every black person who sends their DNA in that they are not from the motherland. Now, we're gonna have to say that some of them, a, a percentage of them, are from the motherland because we still need that balance of some yeah yeah you're from the motherland you're from the congo you, you you're from the kububu tribe or wherever the hell you know to try to encourage others to do it by way of media 
others t telling you, hey man, I got my DNA um, thing back and I found out that, that my ancestors were from the Congo. Okay, now with that information, with finding out that information, whether you're from the Congo or from Ghana or from, or from um, Carthage or whatever area of Africa that your ancestors emanated from, with that information, are you able to utilize that in your present condition? Are you able to utilize it? No, you cannot. The only thing you can say is, this is where my ancestors were from. Okay, now that you know that that's where your ancestors are from, that only that's, that's only beneficial to you knowing that. Now, going around telling everybody, hey, man, my ancestors was from the Congo. Folks will say, well, so what? And you go back to smoking your joints. The black women go back to twerking and and all of that. Girl, my my ancestors was from the Congo, so I see why I twerk so much. Because you know, twerking is based on African dance. African dance, yeah. African dance was not perverted. It's not perverted, you know. And they even try to say that twerking is perverted, you know, because of the Western culture. No, no, because our people have a tendency of taking anything that is um, quote unquote pure in its um, intention. We're always perverting something. Yeah. They say the niggas ruin everything. Yeah. So this, this, this whole thing with, with, with Kanye, I think that um, it's pointless, but that's that's just that's just me, you know. That's why I never um, really did a video, primarily um, focusing on it. I know people have been wanting you to do it. Yeah, I've been I've been getting messages on Facebook. You know, you gonna say something about Kanye? You know, and I I put up a post and I told them that he's 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 gonna be all right. Con Kanye is going to be fine, just 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 like anyone who, who's going through a storm. And if you pay very um, close attention to um, what he was talking about on that um, show when he was sitting up drinking with all of those those um, other guys, the um, people who he was was talking about freeing were rich blacks, just like him. Yeah, you know. So and um. Regardless if he still has between 400 million or 800 million dollars, um, that's not enough money to invest in the black community to make a um, real relevant change because of the condition that the black community is in. Yeah. I mean, you know, if, if I had 300 billion dollars, I wouldn't invest in the black community because the black community is too defiant, morally defiant. And investing funds in the black community is not going to destroy or or even alter the more defiance of of the community. It's just not going to do it because the more you try to enlighten the black community, the more they resist it, and it's it's gotten to the point. Now, I will say this: I'm, I I feel very good about seeing a whole lot of, of the brothers wake up to um the condition of our people and um you know we we have to thank brothers like um without having to always go back to the 60s you know i want i want to bring it a, a little bit more up to date but you 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 have to um thank brothers like brother kevin samuels rest in peace you you have to um Thank brothers like um, Anton Daniels. A whole lot of people don't like Anton Daniels, but Anton Daniels is the truth. You know what I'm saying? Anton Daniels is the truth. And what, what I like about him is that he don't really care 
about how people feel about him. And that's exactly the way that you should be. And his focus is so precise on what he's doing. And he's um, unmovable in his um, approach to things. And um, he's, he's, he could come across sometimes as being an asshole, but hey, I'm an asshole too. Right. You know, and we, we we all have that capabilities. I like angry man. Angry man is the truth as well. You know, and see, um, beautiful eyes. I don't I don't know if you know about him. No, can you say his name? Beautiful eyes. Well, that's 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 the name of his um um YouTube channel. You should check him out. Oh, I'm gonna look him up. I never heard of him. What yeah. are you talking about? Um, he um talks about a whole lot of issues. Um, that Anton Daniels, um, Brother Kevin Samuels, and, and Angry Man, all of them talk about that, you know. And actually, all of these brothers keep me updated on the um, the community, you know, because I've, I've gotten to the point to where I've just toned completely out, you know. Yeah. But um, okay. beautiful lives. He. He, he also supports getting um, passports and going overseas to places like... Passport bros, that's what they do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. a lot of brothers, they increasingly have got their passport and traveling in the world and get different types of women and just leaving basically like Suzanne through America. Yeah, yeah. But if, if you um, look at a whole lot of what's going on in Africa, it ain't no need to go in Africa. Right. Because the African women are becoming just like American black women. So don't even waste your time going over there. And the only way that you're going to be benefit, the only way that you're going to benefit from getting anybody in Brazil or, or Asia or, or any place, you have to move there. You damn sure can't move them here. Right. After you bring them here, they're going to be corrupted. Mm hmm. Yeah, but what I um, wanted to talk to you about, um, you know, what I've been dealing with is um, the after effects of being in Georgia. I don't have... Um, Not in terms of salon. I know I've gotten past that. But what what I've noticed with me is that when I see the people who I work with, what's all that noise? Oh, uh, but um, when um, when I see the people who I used to work with. See, the people who I used to work with, I got very close to them. And um, they they grew, you know, you know, those those young people showered me with love, you know, and they they pulled me out of my um, hurt shell, you might as well say. And there there was a brother who I grew real tight with named Derek, you know, and um, I was looking at Derek's Instagram and Derek is 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 working in this factory to where you um where this guy sells furniture and and beds and and um you know mattresses and stuff like that as a matter of fact me and Salam had had went down there um and he said that he was going to hire me but he never got back um in, in touch with me but you know when when I see people who, who I was very close to, like Derek, still still being out there. And by me knowing that it's very, yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm trying to figure out what's, what's in the background. But um, I was, um, when, whenever I see him, 
um, working in a factory like that. I guess it's I, I guess it's because of where I'm at now, and I'm making good money. I got my benefits. You got your 401k out here, but what what I notice out there in in Georgia, I'm not saying that it's this way all over the place, but it's damn near all over the place. You have these low paying jobs. You don't have a good wage. You have no benefits. You have no pension. You have no 401k. You know, it's, it's, it's just that when when I see people like him who I grew close to, it makes me, it, it hurts. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I definitely know where you're coming from. And it makes me wonder what's going to happen to Derek down the years, you know, because from what I noticed, a lot of people in the South are pretty much comfortable with having basically what we can would consider on this side of the world, nothing, you know, they're, they're, they're content with that. You know, they, they, they work a um, dead end job for eight hours. Some of uh, a whole lot of the people who are work with worked two jobs just, just to make a um, check close to a thousand dollars and you work in two jobs. And out of both of those jobs, you picking up a check for like eight hundred and forty seven dollars. And, you know, and I was telling them you can go to Las Vegas. And work a job and you 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 could pick up like a, a damn near close to. Fifteen hundred, I mean, a, a fifteen hundred dollar check, and that's just with one job. You know, because my previous um, um, take home pay, this was my take home pay was um, fourteen hundred and was it eighty four dollars and forty four cents, and that wasn't overtime. That was just my two weeks pay. You know, and we we supposed to um, be getting a raise pretty soon, and I have my dental, my um, vision, my um, medical, and you. You still have take home pay like that, and, and you know when when I see people like like Derek and um, other people who who I grew close to, you know people like um, the girl who I used to call my daughter, named Kim out there, you know, and um, Derek's kid's mother Ebony, you know. Sometimes I'm like, damn, you know, I wish that I could get them to come out here, but what I noticed a whole lot of people who are in the south. It's almost like they're afraid to move forward. You know, it's it's almost like they uh, have been made afraid to um, try anything different, you know? And so they um, settle for what they have, even though they feel as though they have very little or nothing at all. And it's, that's just sad, man. You know, it's just, you know, because I really love these people, man. You know, I really love Derek. I love Ebony. I love Kim. Man, they 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 was just so. They was just so sweet to me, man. I mean, they really kept me um, together out there because every day they they showered me with 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 love. You know, at work, and it was it was it was just beautiful. It was beautiful. You know, Derek, Ebony, Kim. Um, they they kept me sane, bro. They kept me saying I, I felt so much in love with with those three men. I was even considering just staying. You know, what I'm saying? you know, it was it was beautiful, you know, but it helped me understand that um, Georgia itself wasn't a bad place. It's just that it's not a whole lot of opportunity there. They have some um, problems. I, w I would say just like any other city, but I, I, I can't sit here and, and lie about that because Georgia is not like just any other city. So I ain't gonna sit up here and 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 um, exaggerate or as they say today, cap. You know, I'm, I'm no, I'm, I'm not gonna do that because Georgia is morally Georgia is a toilet, you know, but um, visually Georgia was 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 beautiful. And I think that 
simply because of what Salam did to me and um, what um, Kathy turned on me because I wouldn't sleep with her and, and, and make a baby with her. And then when I got out of there, I was staying with Joseph and found out Joseph was an um, alcoholic, a drug addict. And, and um, it, you know, he had signs of being gay and, and he's supposed to be a Jehovah's Witness. And I'm like, wow, I just cannot catch a break out of here. But, you know, I, I came to realize that all of that was meant to transpire so that it could encourage me to come back home exactly where I belong. I, I just wish that um, I was in the financial position to actually go out there and um, create something for myself that I can get all of them involved in to where they can benefit from it. And you know, I, you know, uh, while well, you go, you know, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, what you looking for? for you, you can be in a position where you can pick opportunities to free themselves. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would mean you've been talking for fourteen years. I ain't, you know, it's just that's not even make sure we are doing what we want to do. But we want to sign things on our people, so we want to sign things with people who really are too. Mm -hmm. you, you see, you know, you see that you know, that you are and and how it's and you yeah. got a real one that's being used. And said to me, it's not like I was killing them. It's like it's not 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 like it's You know, because I hear um, your situation and, and ever since I've known you, you've been trying, you've been trying, you've been trying, you've been trying, you know, that's that's why when all of those um, that that other thing didn't work out. I didn't sweat you yeah. behind that. I didn't sweat you behind that at all. That, I mean, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wasn't none of that your fault. You, you know, those, yeah. those 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 people stole a whole lot of money from us and they they pocket my twenty five thousand and they pocketed whatever how much you um had and went on about their business and then just yeah. shut the whole thing down, you know. Yeah, but um considering everything that um I plan on doing because I'm, I'm supposed to be getting that 50,000 pretty soon from my um, union pension. And- um, Yeah, I remember you was telling me about that. Yeah, you was explaining that to me a few weeks ago, how that works. Yeah. Because it was an Both. You remember when- I Yeah, because i am tell you the truth, as, as far as the union is concerned, what they're finding out is that um, the primary institutions out here are not hiring, quote unquote, older people anymore. And so, so, so they, they're, they're uh, waiting to work for that uh, gyno center, so it's where they, it's like, you know, they, they discriminate against people who are older. Yeah, ageism. Yeah, ageism, okay, that was a G word. Yeah, but... um what they are trying to do but but what 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 they force the union to do because of that is they lowered the um pension thing you remember when um i went down there um the first time and they said that i wouldn't be able to cash it out until i was 59. yeah and so uh, a couple of weeks ago or, or or three weeks ago, I go down there and told, you know, told told the lady that um, I'm getting ready to be 59 right now. And so I would like to um, know what I have to do to cash out my um, union pension. She said, you could have did that when you were 55. She said, we, we lowered it to um, 55. I'm like, really? She said, yeah. She said, you can, um, she said, well, um, just, just fill out this form and everything. And, and she said, we're going to send you some forms 
to your um, current address. And she said, once you put those out, you you bring those down here. And she said, and we'll, we'll um, either write me a check or um, send it to uh, my bank account. So I'm gonna have to um, reopen my, my Wells Fargo bank account. You're just getting that right deposit so they can deposit your funds and now. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, cause you'll be uh you'll be fifty nine days and two weeks, two months and two, a week from now. Mm-hmm. So you deserve it to, to, to for your fifty nine birthday to be a lot different than the past like decade. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I see things getting better. Yeah. I see things getting better, and I see things getting better without my effort. And well, that's the most beautiful things. Yeah, that's how you know you're being blessed. And and when you know that things are changing for you without effort, it means that you're being rewarded. And um, I was told by the creator, even when I was in Georgia, I, I think you remember when I said that. Yeah, I remember we had many conversations when you was giving me revelation with the community. You know, change things for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, what were you gonna say? Oh, that, 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 that was that was pretty much the same thing. Yeah, you know, I I get back here. Um, I got a vehicle, and not only just any vehicle, uh, Mercedes Benz. I a Benz. I, I have to pay nothing but twelve hundred for it. For me, you basically got it for, for the quality and the caliber. For your identity, you basically got it for free. Yeah. And it's only because of, of where my heart is and the way that um, I allowed the creator to to guide me while I was in Georgia, um, intellectually, spiritually, and even um, emotionally. You know, even though I was out there venting a whole lot, I still didn't act upon anything that I was feeling. You know, and and as long as you don't act on it, then um, you don't put anything in the universe that's going to come 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 back around and um, cause problems for you. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, we've had many times where we've been anger and dissatisfaction. Even we don't like you said, 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 we didn't take nothing out to work. It was like a negative child reaction, you know. That's what you just said. Mm-hmm. But you know, I, I still get frustrated with him. Right? I do too. And you're gonna, and you know, if very few human beings are gonna um, be honest enough to admit that there is a part of every human being to where they they have some animosity towards the Creator. Re- religion doesn't do anything but teach people how to deny the truth of how they're feeling and how they're thinking. You know, and um, I was talking to this brother um, at work and we was talking about some of Yeshua's words when he said, you are to love God with your whole mind and your whole heart and your whole soul. And I told him that sounds like another commandment. You are to love God, you know, with all your heart and all your uh, mind and all your souls. Don't tell me what I am to do. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, don't tell me how to love God. Don't t- you, you you are not in that position to tell me how to think and how to feel towards a creator who's dealing with strictly me and it. You know, I would like to know where are you in this scenario to where you have the right to speak into that to try to tell me how I should feel about God. I mean, if anything, you should have more animosity <laughs> towards God than anybody. Right. You know, considering what you suffered, whether you agreed to it or not, that's still what you was created for. 
whether you agreed to it or not. And you was created to not be able to disagree. You know, so, so even if you um, were created, you know, and even though he was created for that purpose, had he not went um, in harmony with God's will, you know what would happen? Because he said that right in the book of, um, in, in the Garden of Gethsemane, it is not my will, but thy will be done. Well, what was your will? Obviously, it was in opposition of the Creator's will. Come on, y'all. It's right there. Stop playing. Yeah, man, but I wanted to talk to you about that because um, yeah, man, that's 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 the only thing. I mean, you know, that's the only thing. It's 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 not Salam. Salam done. I didn't get past that. You know, I don't I don't really care because Salam ain't doing nothing. Salam is out there still being a little a little trick, and she's out there still doing the same thing from what I was told, you know. But uh, I just said, well, that's that's her, you know. She she's obviously that's she she's been doing this for years, and she even lied about her age, you know. She told me that she was thirty four. I come to find out that Salam was fifty three years old. And look, and she looks seventy three. <laughs> yeah, she did, and they um. The last person I talked to said she was looking terrible. And I'm like, well, you know, it's it's her lifestyle, you know. And and this woman asked me, well, have you heard from her? And I'm like, no, um, I, I wrote Salam an a email to let her know how I was doing. And and I wasn't doing anything in her face. You know, I was just telling her, well, you know, I'm doing fine now. I'm, 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 I'm grateful to be home. And I'm hoping that things are getting better for you, you know. And when the creator looks at your heart like that, you continue to get blessed. And I don't do it to get blessed because I don't I don't I don't I don't do things to get blessed, you know, because when you do things in order to get blessed, it's a lie. Yeah, it's fake or whatever. It's like it's like we had a conversation many times or whatever. It's like do good, you know, to me doing good is all Right. Do do just like, just like just like you know, just like uh people talk about you need to fear God, all that crap. I'm like, no, you don't. No, you don't. Like, like, yeah. We 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 were saying do good for the sake of goodness. Yeah. Or like our elders say, do do good for goodness sake. Yeah. Don't do good because you're commanded to do it or you're expected to do good. Do good for good for the sake of goodness. And when you do good for the sake of goodness, you invest um, goodness into humanity and you you um, you you make an impact on other people's lives. And when you make an impact on other people's lives, then they make that same um, or similar impact on other people. And what you do, you you um, help in your efforts um, or in your actions or and in your lack of actions, help create a better society. And what I mean by lack of action is doing wrong you 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 don't do wrong you continue to do what is right and so that that um cause and effect it spreads and you know that's the only way that the world's going to become a better place and you know a lot of black folks they um get turned off when someone like me talks about the human family and humanity and all of that you know they want me to talk about well well you know you should talk about just black folks and what's good for us. And, and, and you see, that's the reason why you're not going to get blessed. You know, and a whole lot of people think that the creator is like that. Well, God's chosen. These, these, these are my chosen people. I never took that in. I never took that in. It's about good and it's about evil and good and evil doesn't have a race attached to it doesn't have a color attached to it it doesn't have a culture attached to it and it doesn't have a creed attached to it it has nothing to do with that you know like it says we war 
with of um, principalities. We war not against flesh and blood, but of principalities. Clive. That's what it's about. But you know, the moment that um, I can do something for them, I'm going to do it, you know, because um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take five thousand dollars, five or six thousand dollars, and I'm going to um, up that pension money and I'm going to invest it into into my Coinbase account and just let it sit. And um, I'm going to get back into um what you got me into with the Bitcoin and all of those, those, those. Watch it, it's just been tight going on. Oh, really? 20% of it, I'm thinking that you would have been seen some It dropped, I think Bitcoin dropped down below like 17,000, like three of the most ridiculous news. Mm hmm. And the reason why it's has to do with them. Okay. I told you sometimes I even have a guy yesterday about the a lot of it has to do with this uh this crypto company called LTS first they shut down yesterday by completely getting wiped out and the dude he was worth sixteen billion dollars and in less than twenty four hours he ain't even have a billion dollars even it's not even less than some of the sales that they go that's some of the reason why the dollars really fine and trusted in the house so the guys tell you that Bitcoin is shining or whatever. So, and, you know, every time the, the price goes down, it's actually a good thing for people who want to buy whatever. I mean, you get in on that, that's when it goes back up again. You know, I'm never going to talk about how to do it. Mm -hmm. so they talk about it, and that's exactly like, this is the best time, a good time for you. For people who want, if they want to get in on it, this is the best time for you. It's like, this is the best time for you. This is the best time for you. I see Bitcoin going down to like $10,000 a week. So you might do it like you said and see what yeah. markets do. You was the one who who um told me what the dip mean. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't you don't remember that. <laughs> let let me refresh my beautiful brother's memory. You remember what I said? You remember when you sent me the second um season of Devils? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be Moscow. And um they haven't made any more seasons, have they? No, nah, season they working on season three. That'd be our next year. Okay, but you remember when I called you and I asked you what does he mean when he said buy the dip, and you and 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 you had explained that to me. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, yeah. So what what about those those other areas of investments? Are those cool? When you say you, well, what, well, there's a ton of areas. Which, like, which areas are you talking about specifically, D? Well, I'm, I, I want to know um, which ones to um, heavily invest in. Oh, yeah, I would tell you. I would. Yeah. yeah. I'm an expert. You know, when Bitcoin drops, everything drops. Next time, kids even cheaper, and that's the coin that I can see really doing something big one day for real, for real. If they caught the bankers coin, that's something that the government itself is trying to get into. So, oh, you know, the government, you know, when it comes to this crypto stuff, they really try to control it. So, it's going to be something that they would personally want to go up, you know. And it's the key, okay, they kind of ripple, but it's actually the key on your coin, you know, that's the one that. You know, I'm investing it too. Will invest in. I'm not one of my friends. He randomly hit me up and asked me if I got some more. Now, if you want, I can send you a thousand dollars for you to invest. It's up to you to um what what. Okay. 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 You know, it's, it's, I don't want you to do that, but DB, this thing is kind of like a still. I want to be going. I want to see that's why I have some that I want to do. 
That's cool. Yeah, because I was I was gonna send you a thousand of that, maybe two thousand. You know, oh, yeah, because, I could, you know, I could really use it. Yeah, because that'll be fifty thousand. Um, my my pinch is gonna be fifty thousand. I'm making good money. You know, so it's I don't have any habits. I don't smoke, drink, do drugs, and I, I don't have no bike either. Yeah, me neither. No, I don't. I don't have no health problems, and um, I left women alone, so I don't. You know, I don't have that expense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was really. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, and he's thinking with his mind and not with his dick. Yeah. Yeah, because I've been I've been wanting to talk to you about that because it ain't no you know it it don't make no sense to me sitting up on all that money you know of course I'm gonna give. My sons, each of my sons, regardless if Dylan is still tripping, I'm still gonna give him like the three, three. You know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna give both of them three thousand dollars because they're three years apart. You know, I'm I'm just gonna give Bishan three thousand. I'm gonna give Dylan three thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still, even though I know uh, Dylan, you know, I know you say he's a trip, but you know, at the end of the day, I know it's still your son. So you you mm -hmm. are there, even even to be silly. Yeah, well, you know, his 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 pattern of thinking is 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 behind his mother. You know, as a matter of fact, I meant to tell you this: the um, last time that me and Deshawn hung out, which was just a just a week ago, you might as well say, um, I showed up, and um, Tammy's sister Maria had had came outside. Yeah, yeah, he was telling me about the other day. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Tammy came out, you know, because um, Tammy didn't didn't like the fact that Maria was standing out there talking to me. She she that that makes her feel uncomfortable. Now, in in all the times that I went over there to pick up Deshaun, Tammy never came out. But this particular time, she had to make her presence known. Why do you have to make your presence known? Because Maria was out there talking to me. And she didn't like the fact that Maria was talking to me and she was showing me a lot of affection. She has never felt comfortable with Maria being around me. But all at the same time, by her knowing the type of man that I am, why are you worried about me being around your sister? And if you feel this way about your sister, I'm, I'm I'm not saying that I'm accurate with how I think she is is thinking in terms of a sister, but you you never came out before. You know, she she coming out there looking like a little penguin. You know, trying to trying to hide that 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 belly that she got now, and you know, and um all of that. And um, when, yeah, I, remember, I remember when you showed me the picture a few months ago. She really had one. Oh man, she I man, she. She remember that picture. Oh yeah, yeah. But you know, um, her boyfriend, he has um a car that he puts in car shows. And so Deshaun was telling me about how him and Dylan was helping him set up his car. And I told Deshaun, that's good. I think that's cool that y'all have that type of relationship with him. And he's involving you guys in that area. You know, I, I think that's cool. I think that's cool, you know. And um, but see, she she has always been on that level. I uh, see, I'm I'm not on the hoopty level. Yeah. You know, I'm 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 not criticizing the guys that are. That's just not me. You know, and um I've always been very reserved and, and everything like that. But um like I say, I'm I'm not knocking it, you know, but um it's it's like 
by Dylan wanting to be a thug, you know, her having a boyfriend who has a hoopty that goes in harmony with what Dylan wants to be. You know, the, yeah. you know, the, the thug and, and the hoopty in the back, you know, like you see on his, um, um, on his, um, profile picture on um, Facebook. That's cool. You know, that's cool. And you can, you can look at your dad as a man who you don't think is tough or hard or anything like that. That's fine. I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. As a matter of fact, that's not how I want to be looked upon. You know, I will kill, but <laughs> and he know that too about you. I don't know yeah. what he thinking stupid. Well, you know that that whole thug demeanor and all that stuff. That's that's just a bunch of um, a propaganda anyway. And I think Tupac revealed that to everybody. You know, it's just a whole bunch of propaganda. It's just a bunch of it's it's fake. You know, just just like I was telling the the new wave community. You know, you you people are fake. You people are fake. You know, um, I um, previously saw a um, a video on on Instagram, and it had Erica Badu on there talking about it's time to wake the third eye up, and the and the way that you wake that third eye up, she said, you know, you have to turn. It's time to turn it on, and the way that you turn it on, you you have to get in touch with Mister Miss Doctor Sleep, and it had. Some some other black woman on there, like she was real, really listening to, to Erica Badu. Erica Badu don't have shit to say to you. You have to eat right. You have to keep your body clean, and, and you know she telling everybody how, what 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 they have to do to to open up the third eye. You ain't saying nothing other than what people should be doing any damn way: eating right, getting proper rest. You know, and it and it is those things that opens up your mind. Now, as far as it opening up the penile gland, I'm not even going to pretend like I know about that because to me, it's just a bunch of rhetoric. It's rhetoric, and if it opens up your penile gland, and if, and and if you become more enlightened and 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 spiritual, why y'all so full of shit? You know why? Why y'all always condemning people as negative and low vibrational and 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 all of that 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 bullshit y'all be talking? You know because in when when you're enlightened, you don't have the ability intellectually and even spiritual to offend people. You 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 are able to give guidance without offending people, you know? And this is the reason why Yeshua said, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. He was telling you to use your wisdom and intelligence to the degree that when you distribute information, you will not offend people. Be harmless as a dove. Yeah, but, uh, you know, we have a conversation too. Yeah, uh, it's but you gotta do it in such a way that uh, it not only does it not offend, but it inspires a person to want to research and want to get right, you know, to see where you're coming from. And that's something that a lot of people don't know how to do. Well, what what area of reality are you um, expressing? Well, I'm keeping it real. I'm keeping it real. What's real to you? Well, our people suffering, blah, 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 and, and then this and this and this is that. And, okay. Now, the, the area of reality that you're speaking from is pain. And this is the reason why you're causing pain. So enlightenment does not involve pain. Enlightenment is the results of pain. You, you suffer through the fire and after you suffer through the fire, then comes enlightenment. I mean, first, first comes passion, compassion and enlightenment. And when you reach that apex of yourself individually, what comes out of your mouth is in such a state of enlightenment 
a universal intelligence, like they told me that I had in, in um, India. What comes out of you is nothing but insight and clarity and insight and clarity does not offend. You know, this this is what people are going to have to understand, you know, but if you are just um, if if you sound like the other person, you you can tell me that you're woke. You you sound like this person over here. That's tough. You know, it was it was it was this 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 brother on Facebook. And um he's a Muslim from 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 the nation of Islam. As a matter of fact, he him and his brother was one of the first brothers that I met out here outside of Brother Wesley, um Rasak Ali. And he sent me a um a message a couple of days on Facebook and he said, Brother, I love your videos. I hear what you're saying and everything. He said, But what's up with them strange looking backgrounds? Why don't you just get one fresh? He said, I want to see my brother. I said, okay. You know, I, I wrote him a message and I told him, I said, okay, bro, I'm a, I'm a, the next video I do, it's going to be fresh. And so the one about the books is, 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 um, me with, without the background. Oh, okay. okay. I'm, I'm really going to watch it. Yeah. I'm, I'm with the I mean, I, I look the same, you know, but he was, he was just concerned about, um, the backgrounds and everything. Yeah, man, but um, everything is getting much better, you know? And um, like I was telling um, someone else, I think I told you the same thing. I, I, I even told Deshaun, I told him, I said, what I'm most proud of when it comes to me, um, I'm not boasting or anything, and I shouldn't even have to say this, but I am a nice looking man. Um, I dress nice, I'm intelligent, I'm wise, I'm driving a Benz, and I'm not abusing the fact that I have a Benz and and being a good looking man. I'm not in the street trying to pick up women, look, I got a Benz, I'm a, I'm a nice looking dude. I work, I write, and I rest. Right. And as long as I'm not doing those things, I'm going to continue to be blessed. And what's good about it is that I'm not doing those things, not because I'm trying to not do them. That's just not who I am. Right. And so that puts me in a very good position. So. Because you was trying to quote unquote not do them, then I didn't fly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Then it it really wouldn't mean anything. Yeah. 